Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for iodine monofluoride. So here we go. So the uh, formula for that is going to be IF, okay, and that's going to give us 7 valence electrons from the iodine plus 7 valence electrons from the fluorine for a total of 14 valence electrons, okay? So this one's uh, pretty straightforward. We have the iodine here, fluorine, fluorine here. We can start by single bonding them and then filling in the octets for each of the two atoms. And if you add up all those electrons, you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, which is our total. So this is actually going ahead and be the final structure. We can verify that by checking the formal charges. So the formal charges, um, first one on the iodine, it's going to be the seven valence electrons brought in minus the one single bond minus the two, four, six non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. And then the formal charge on the fluorine is going to be a very similar, the seven valence electrons brought in minus the one single bond minus the two, four, six non-bonding electrons for also a formal charge of zero. Add those up, this formal charge of zero overall which is what we need because this is not a charged particle, okay? In terms of shape, there's only two atoms, so that makes this a linear shape. And uh, in terms of hybridization, it, looking at the iodine here, there's one, two, three, four electron groups, which means we need four hybrid orbitals. So we're gonna go with sp3 hybrid. So 1s and 3p's for a total of four hybrid orbitals to match the four electron groups. In terms of polarity, because these two atoms are not the same kind of atom, they are one's an iodine and one's a fluorine, their polarities will not cancel out, which makes this a polar compound. All right, so that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know, and thanks for watching.